hunting today. Oh, and here's the old bumpy roads and the old backwoods of Northwest Florida. You see kind of the white um, sandy roads, a little bit of clay here and there. And there's places anywhere and everywhere to go hunting. You can just get on a road and drive mile after mile after mile until you find where you're going. And uh, I'm planning on going to a certain place that I like. And hopefully find a deer out in these woods. Sure would be nice. So here goes nothing. Help me Jesus, please. I pray that I just might get a deer today. <laughs> There's a nice spot here. Some of the viewers might remember that over here is where I made one of our question and answer videos. I parked right there. And when I had the bow in the background, it was back up in there. So out that way was where I did one of my question and answer videos. Oh, sorry it's so bumpy, but these roads, well, yeah, there's some better roads. But out there would be a good spot to sit and wait. So this is where we go hunting. All right, we'll see how it goes today. All right, here we go. Heading out in the woods. Second to last day of regular gun hunting season. And uh, let me turn this camera sideways here. There we go. The first thing I think of as I walk through the forest is how quiet it is. I just love getting out in the woods in the peace and the quiet. I brought me a book today to read. I'm looking forward to sitting out in the woods and reading this book and I've got a long ways to go out in these woods so I'm gonna start down this road this way and there's way down at the end of the hill down there about a half a mile a little pond so I'm waiting for that for some deer to come now rutting season here in Northwest Florida is around first week of February today is February 5th so I'm hoping it's rutting season. I'm hoping to get some deer today, so we'll find out. Here goes. I've been walking now about a, about a quarter mile in these woods. I'm on this old road that at one time was a road, but it's been closed off. And now I'm going down these, uh, this hill. And so I'm starting to go downhill. Yes, there are some hills in Florida. Very few. But uh, I'm going down this old road. Eventually I'm going to get off this road and go back up in the woods. But uh, one time a buddy and I, we came out here. And right here we saw two deer run across. Right through here, through a little path right that way. Matter of fact, there's the deer trail right there. I don't know if you can see it. Right there. And this is Northwest Florida. And these are some good spots right here to hide. Kind of a natural blind here. It's a really good spot to, to hide, but I need to get off the road. These are what we call cabbage palms. And uh, here's my view here and I'm going downhill down toward this little pond it's very quiet out today very quiet I do hear a couple birds here and there so I'm hoping that I can get a nice little spot in the woods and uh, get me a deer today it's kind of fun to have you out here with me sit down on and of course you gotta wear your orange this time of year and here we go I see my first deer track right there see if I can switch that around and show it to you okay well I'll just turn the camera deer track and uh, it 
go kind of up into that wood, so they must have gone up here. What I'll do is I'm going to go straight down that way and come back up that way in those woods. But that's a good sign to see that deer track. That's awesome. All right. Walking down this trail. And here's a good sign. Guess what I found? I found some deer droppings here. Your deer dropping. <laughs> anyway, as a kid up in Wyoming, my grandpa used to call these smart pills. <laughs> and he always tell me as a kid, oh look, there's some smart pill pills. Pick them up and eat them. Pick them up and eat them. Those aren't smart pills. Those are deer droppings, and they're gross. <laughs> so, if you ever see that in the woods, they're not smart pills. Don't eat them. Okay. been out here for seven hours I've been reading a book I saw a deer and he started over here and he walked up this way went all the way around always making sure to stay about a hundred yards out went up that ridge and went out that way unfortunately he had two horns on the back of his head and one point each and here you're supposed to not be able to get a deer unless it's at least three points so that close to getting a deer but uh, not quite <clears throat> but I had a wonderful time reading my book one second after this was an interesting book a book that I was told was something that you need to read that a lot of people that are our preppers um, are into especially those that are believing in in stocking up and defending in case something bad does happen in this world you never know it could we could see some some bad times before the rapture so uh i've been out here in the woods reading my book interesting book uh actually made me get a little teary-eyed a couple of times <laughs> but i've been waiting for that deer and he went by and he was just too small so that was my day but it was been well it's been wonderful it's been wonderful to sit out here and uh enjoy the peace the quiet it was foggy most of the day. The sun came out a couple of times. It's afternoon, about 4 o'clock, sitting up here in these trees. And it's still overcast a little bit. But I think I'm going to get out, walk around a little bit, and see what I can see. Might still get one today. Might not. But it was beautiful to see that one. Boy, that was awesome. So that was my day. The, um... The buck that I saw was not that big, but I'm walking back where that buck would have been, and that buck would have been right down in there, and he walked through there, and went up, kind of can see over on that side, he went up. Well, here I am on this side, and I'm seeing some huge tracks. This must have been a gigantic buck right there, and here are some of his tracks. Man, that was a big old truck, buck. That's the one I wish I could have seen. But instead, the one I saw was a small one that walked right up in there. Went right up that way. I was hiding right out in there. And he walked right on up there, then went out that way and went way around. It's just too many trees to be able to get them. And there's my watering hole over there. So I just seem to get so close, but I just can't get them.
Florida white sand. And somebody has been out here. I can already see some footprints here. And it looks like there's some tracks here of a deer sled. And they're not that old. Someone has gone back up here and got him a deer. And took it out with a sled already today. Huh. Well, wish it could have been me. <laughs> oh well, maybe next time. So I'm going to head back slowly. Maybe go out in the woods for another hour or so. Sure would like to get a deer today. But uh, we'll see how it goes. Alright. Well, I'm actually deep in the woods right now. Actually kind of lost in the woods. <laughs> I think the car is that way. But I just took off down these deer trails and just couldn't stop. Here's a good deer trail right through there. Actually, it's on that side. And this would be a good spot to see a deer. There's a little bit of a little a creek down there running that way. So, but so far, nothing. Nothing. So, I don't mind coming out again tomorrow. It's a wonderful opportunity to to do some reading. I really enjoyed that. So and look at these tall pine trees. All these tall pines. Got a lot of oaks out here too. Well, if I didn't get one, I had a lot of fun. A lot of fun walking out in the woods. Amen.